weighted aggregate index numbers all the other index numbers that you've seen were unweighted meaning that the the commodities are assumed to be of equal importance this is a very strong assumption because in real life some commodities are of greater importance than others so for instance you can have a very highly priced commodity in our basket of uh, goods but it has a low consumption so in that case we need to account for that in the index number so uh, the weighted index number do account for that so there are many weighted aggregate index numbers but we are going to discuss three of them the first one is what we call the last ps the last ps index number and um, there is also the patch index number and the fisher's ideal index number so to note that the general expression of a weighted index number is that weighted aggregate is summation of p1 the prices at the current year multiplied by a given weight and summation of the price of the base year multiplied by a given weight and of course multiplied by a hundred so this is just the general so for the last peers method the weight is the quantities at the base period so and this is uh, commonly written as pf that so the weight for the last peers method is the quantities at the base year so the other method is the pash method and in the pash method using the general expression here but in this case we have the the weight as the quantities at the current time period so finally the fisher's ideal method The Fisher's ideal method uh, has is a combined and it is the geometric mean of the two. So the index number Fisher's ideal will be the geometric mean. So this is the product of the index, the last pierce index and the patch index get the root of that so those are the three main methods of how to compute the weighted aggregate index number now then in an example so we have this example and we want to compute the last peers pash and the fisher's ideal index number so to begin with the the base period identify the base period and this will be now base period and this will be the current year so therefore this will be p naught and that this is the quantity at the base period is written as q naught this is uh, p1 and this is q1 for last peers index number we need the summation of p1 q0 divided by the summation of p0 q0 multiplied by 100 
So we need these two components, P1, Q0. And then we also need P0, Q0. We need to compute these two columns and have their summation. So for P1, Q0, starting, we have 15 multiplied by, sorry, for the first one, P1, Q0, this one is uh, 10,000. P1, 23 multiplied by 580. Five, 23 multiplied by 590, we have 13, 570, this we have 10, 8, and the summation here will be 34, 370. So for P0, Q0, of 75, 100, so that is 15 multiplied by 500. 18 multiplied by 590, we have 10, 6, 20. And then 22 multiplied by 40, 450, we have 9, 9, 9900. The summation of P0, Q0 is 28. 020. So now that we have this, we can have that our SPS index will be the summation of P1 Q0 30, 34,370 divided by 28 multiplied it will be 30 4370 divided by 28,020 multiplied by 100. And this will give us 122.66. So for the PASH index number, it's summation of P1, but now the, the weight in PASH is Q1. So then we need P1, Q1, and also P0, Q1. We need P1, Q1, and P0, Q1. So starting with the P1, Q1, P1, Q1, this is 12,000, which is 20 multiplied by 600, 23 multiplied by 640, we have 14, 720. Lastly, we have 24 multiplied by 500, which is 12,000. So summing this column, you find the sum is 38,720. So lastly, we have P0, Q1, P0, Q1, 15 multiplied by 600, we have 9,000, then we have 18 multiplied by 640, is 11 7520 and then uh, we have 22 multiplied by 500 which is 11 thousand so finally uh, the summing of these values you get to be 
So for the partials in this number, it will be the ratio between 38, 7, 20, which is got yearly, divided by 31, 5, 20. We're going to multiply by 100. Uh, this will be 122.84%. So that is the PASH index number. So, which is indicating a slight 22.84% uh, increase in price of this set of commodities. So finally, the Fisher's ideal method. Which we said is the geometric mean of, of La, la spares and uh, the cash. Geometric mean of uh, la spares index and the cash index. So therefore, we have the which will be one twenty two point six six. Multiply by 122.84 and you get the root of that to get the Fisher's ideal index. And the Fisher's ideal index will yield 122.69%. Uh, Thank you for watching.